Consistent. Mm -hmm. Well, I can't deny that you're losing weight and looking better. Uh, but, um, your cholesterol level is still high, just as I suspected. Are you sticking with the diet plan? It's um, the dinner dates, the, the, the junk food, le eating late in the office. Look, you know what? I'll, I'll, but, but somehow the cholesterol should have dropped a little bit. Come on, give me some credit. Well, it actually has, but it's still not good enough for us. You're still eating foods that are high on cholesterol. Look, we don't want you to have a heart attack. A heart attack at 45? Age is not the factors, you know. You've got to stay healthy. Okay, so it is back to my diet plan strictly then. You're really looking good and happy. I'm happy for you. Things getting better at the home front. Home front? That's a laugh. Of course it has nothing to do with that. New contract? I don't know. What's it then? I don't know. Now you've got me interested because you're stalling. If I didn't know you better, I would have said it has to do with a woman. Oh my goodness, it's a woman. It's finally happened. Yes. Yes, double D. I found the woman. Wow, so who is she? She is beautiful, she is intelligent, she is funny, she makes me laugh, and she's simple and quiet. And above all, Double D, she has a good head on her shoulders. Whoa. Yes. So is she anyone I know? Shh. <laughs> 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 Actually, I've been meaning to see you. I hope there's no problem. Uh, not at all, not at all. Um, actually, it's just to inform you that um, I'll be reducing some of your clients from you now. I see. May I ask why? Um, there's a particular client I would like you to focus your attention on till this program is done here with us. And the others? Well, I will hand them over to the other instructors. I'm not quite sure I understand what you're saying. 
You want to take away all my clients, leaving just one, and you say there is no problem? At all, there's no problem. Okay, may I ask who this person is who you're leaving behind? Mr. Zeno, of course. Mr. Phillips, I beg of you, tell me the real reason for this. <sighs> oh, babe. Well, if you insist, Mr. Zeno came to see me the other day. He asked me to reduce the workload that is on you. He believes that you're not paying enough attention to a team. And I apologized on your behalf. And I agreed. And you know, I would not want a big shot like that to go out there and start saying negative things concerning us. Mr. Zeno came here to complain about me asking you to take away all my clients. Obi, don't query me. You work for me and not the other way around. I'm sorry, sir. Anyway, that will be all. We may continue. Wow. I'm simply tired of what's going on in this office. Can you just imagine? Look, Daniela, I have told you to get off this case. You're just going to get yourself worked up over nothing. No, but really, who doesn't have enough work to do around here already? And no one will be thinking of doing someone else's job. Ah! In fact, I never really liked that obi girl. She feels too much about herself. <laughs> <laughs> See, you don't really know what happened, so just forget about it. Besides, it was the manager who instructed me to take them on. Meanwhile, why are you complaining? It's not like you're the only one who got extra work. It's just irritating. Ah, someday, that girl will get what she did. <laughs> <laughs> only God knows how she managed to get that Mr. Magazine herself. <laughs> now you know, me, I'm done with work. I'm going, let's go. Whatever. Hello, Mr. Ozezi. Are you ready for your training yet, or can I get on with other things? I am. But what's wrong with you? Hmm? This is not you. What's wrong? Nothing. Oh, come on. Oh, oh, okay, I get it. Is this about you calling me and me not calling you back on time? Is this what it's about? Please. Just go in there, drop your bag, come back, and start your exercises. Happy darling, what's going on? Mr. Ozizi, Obi will do just fine. Okay. Obi. What's wrong? What's going on? Can you please let go of my hand before I cause a scene? Right now. Okay. Can I at least take you home after exercise so we can talk about whatever is chewing you up right now? No. I told you, I have a car. Stop lying to me. I know you don't have a car. I've seen you take a cab after exercising every day. Okay, so now you know I don't have a car. What, are you stalking me now? Look, it's bad enough that you will go to my boss, complain to him about my work, telling him to remove all my clients except you, not caring what impression you're causing for me at my workplace. What is it? What right do you have? Now you're stalking me just because I had one dinner date with you? Can you just keep your voice down so I can explain? I will not! You betrayed me, and it will never happen again, not with you, not with any man. Now go in there, drop your back, come back here and start exercising.
Abi! Abi! doesn't sound particularly thoughtful. Or your colleagues, who seem to have an inferiority complex where you're concerned. Or Zeno, whom you haven't heard out. Now, I think it is unfair to jump to conclusions. It's only fair to hear him out. Why do I have to wait to hear him out? Look at all the issues he caused for me in one day. Why did he have to go to my boss? Why, why couldn't he just talk to me about it? I thought we were getting somewhere. If I wasn't sure how you felt about this man, this confirms it. Your feelings for him have totally clouded your judgment and made you a bit unreasonable. Look, if someone else had done wouldn't you have challenged them and heard them out? I was upset. So, call Zeno. Or better still, wait till he comes for his next session. And then you can discuss it. By then you would have calmed down. Why are you looking at me like that? He actually came this afternoon. And there wasn't exactly enough time to talk. Okay, I didn't give him a chance to talk. Mommy, don't look at me like that. I said I was upset. All right. Just hear him out, okay? Now, as for your boss and your colleagues, <laughs> People always get upset when things are going well for you. It's human nature. Ignore them. Hmm? See you. <laughs> ah, Obi. Because you were so upset, you let people get in the middle of a budding relationship, make you walk past your dear old mom, ignoring her. Mom, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. It's all right, dear. Now, isn't there someone you should be saying that to as well? Thank you.
saw you the other day and you walked away you don't have to take it this way cause i'm here to stay i'm with you i'm here to show you how to keep this dream alive Your dreams alive. You don't have to walk away. Joy comes in the morning, and all your tears will fade away. You'll be bright as the sunlight. Call Zach. Where are the sales figures for the digital tire inflator? Hasn't been sending from sales yet, sir. Why? I'm not sure, sir. Is anybody still in sales? Yes, sir. My car is. Amaka, where are the sales uh, figures for the digital uh, time inflators? I don't care who's for. Listen to me. If I don't get those sales figures on my table, first thing tomorrow morning, you are fired. You hear me? What are you still doing here? You haven't dismissed me yet. Mary, use your initiative, okay? Use your initiative! Sorry, sir. Excuse me, sir. What? I was just wondering, is anything the matter? Do I look like there's something wrong with me? Uh, well, I just thought... Don't, don't, don't think! Don't, just get out of my office! Sorry, sir. Jesus Christ. What's now, Mary? What? It's not Mary, it's not. Um, the photographs. Can I go? Thank you, sir. I'll do this now, thank you, sir. much bitterness and hate get into you don't you think I hurt too have you made so much wealth with nobody to pass it on to Question. the doctors and the specialists they all say the same thing there is nothing wrong with us nothing what do you want me to do am I God I really don't care, Zeno. Okay? You and I know that this marriage is dead and buried. I will do whatever makes me happy. And I mean whatever. Including sleeping with my best man? Oh, oh you thought I wouldn't find out? My partner! How could you? My best friend. So now you have to be smiling. You. Go. 
You don't like this side. I'll give you the other. Hit me. Maybe it'll make you feel more like a man. Okay? Hit me. Do it. Hit me, Zeno. I won't, I won't, I won't spend my energy on you anymore. You can't even do that. You don't matter enough to hit me. Look, I will do whatever I want, okay? Whatever makes me happy. Mazino Zezi, I I want to see Obi Chukuma. Uh, she's not in right now, oh. but please do come in. Oh, thank you. You must be Obi's mom. Yes. Now I see where she got her good looks from. Oh. <laughs> Flash, we will get you everywhere with an old lady. Please sit down. Thank you. What can I get for you? Nothing, I'm fine. It's uh, nice to finally meet you. <laughs> I've heard so much about you from Obi. Same here. Mr. Um, Zezi? Yeah, but yes. just call me Zeno. Okay, Zeno. Yes, um, oh yes, thank you for the dinner the other night. You sent it to me, didn't you? Oh, that's nothing. And, and how are you? I hear you were a little bit uh, ill some time back. Oh, I'm much better. Thank you. It's good to hear. It's good to hear. It must have been uh, easier with Obi around you. Oh, she was wonderful through it all. You know, coping with the bills, shuttling between two jobs. I wonder how she coped with the pressure. And, um, you know, since her father left us, I haven't contributed much or supported much. But my obby is a strong girl. Mm. <laughs> anyway, you don't want to listen to the ramblings of an old lady. <laughs> On the contrary, I, I, I want to. Uh, please tell me more about Obi. Okay, but um, first, you tell me about yourself. Okay, I, I, I was born to Chief and Chief Mrs. Uzezi some 45 years ago. Um, both my parents are dead. And today I, I have a younger sister who lives in England with her family. And um, I'm married. I see. I, I know I said I'm married, but things are not the way they seem. Why don't you tell me your story? I, I got married eight years ago to somebody that everybody thought would strengthen the ties between both our families. And um, like she was also right for me. Hmm. How 
how we're fortunate. But um, oftentimes, when we don't listen to that inner voice, that instinct that tries to caution us, things don't seem to go right for us. I'm sorry. But what did uh, the doctors say? Oh, nothing. Uh, they said nothing is wrong with us, both of us, but um, somehow we've not been able to have children. And I have managed to come to terms with it, but she hasn't. Um, in fact, I thought my, my world had collapsed completely until I met Obi. Um, she's, um, she's, she's wonderful. She's just a very wonderful person. She makes me very happy. Uh, wh what is it that fascinates you about Obi? Oh, she's... Uh, she's the very keeper of the gates to my happiness. She, um, she makes me so happy. Um, her wit, her sense of humor, her... How, you know, the, the, the joy that she's brought into my life in the short time that I've known her is such that I can never experience in three lifetimes with somebody else. Oh, life is unfair to us all. But the good Lord has seen it fit to give you a second chance. Make good use of it. But first, I would like you to do something for me. Give me your hand. Promise me that you will do right by her. I have seen a lot in my life. But there's something that I feel from you too that seems right. And uh, I believe the good Lord will see you through. Amen. If it is His will. Thank you. This, this means so much to me. Another issue though. She's very, very upset with me right now. And I don't know why. That's why I really came here. I I gathered that much. <laughs> but not to worry. She'll she'll soon be home. And um, when you discuss it with her, I'm sure it will be alright. Thank you. <laughs> I'm really, really glad that I've met you. No wonder she thinks the world of you. I, I hope I can come see you more often. Oh, of course, dear. Any friend of Obi's is a friend of mine. Oh, that's good to hear. <laughs> you know, in some strange way, you remind me of her father. <laughs> ah, that must be Obi. Excuse me, let me just... Hello, dear. Mr. Ozezi, what are you doing here? Well, Miss uh, Obi Chukuma, I came here to see you. I don't remember inviting you to my house. Uh, Did I do something wrong? Did I do something to you? What did I do? I got feedback from Mr. Phillips on your complaints about me and my attitude to work. Now, did you really think that everything would remain the same between us after that? What? Look, if you had any issues with my work, not that I understand why you should because I take my work very seriously. But if you had any, why didn't you tell me? Why go to my boss? Wait, hold on, hold on. I didn't go to your boss or anybody to report you or to complain about your work. 
Did you or did you not tell him to take away my clients, leaving only you? Yes, I did. Yes, you did. That's the point. Did you tell me anything about this? Please, Bobby, just hear me out, okay? Sit down. Sit, please. I thought the saying was that you are innocent until you're proven guilty. Please sit down. Just hear me out. Yes, I did go to the gym to tell Mr. Phillips to reduce your workload, take some of the clients away so that, you know, I, I, I acted in good faith. Okay, remember I asked you how many clients you had? You have about 12 clients. I just thought it was too much. You know, first you spend all day at work at the furniture shop and then you come back to the gym to work out with us. And I thought it was just too tedious. That, you could, you know, reduce your work and let your head down and breathe. Why didn't you just talk to me about it? Why? Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Okay, I, I, I confess that I also did it because I wanted you to spend some more time with me. I, I did it in good faith. I, I, I didn't, I was trying to help. Don't help me without telling me. I'm not a child. I'm an adult who has control over her life, okay? Okay. I'm sorry, okay? It won't happen again. I love you. I, I meant it when I said I loved you. I love you. So, Mr. Phillips lied to me? Is that what you're saying? Yes, he lied to you. That's what I'm saying. Let me tell you a story. Sit down. Okay. I'm what he is. Once upon a time. Time, time. I'm serious. I'm listening. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Hi, Mommy. Um, how are you? Mommy and I love you very much, right? Um, okay, um, Mommy. Can I stay over at Sino's? Back, sir. It's nice to have you back. Thank you. So what has been happening in this office? Nothing. Just business as usual. Except for missing you and Mr. Daffy. Daffy is not here? No, sir. Like you, he hasn't been in for two weeks now. Tried calling to see if there was any problem, but couldn't get through. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Please excuse me. Your man? 
my man is fine. But you know, Mom, you never did tell me what you thought of him. You never asked. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Go on now. I'm dying to know. He's okay. That's it? What more do you want to know? I mean, a couple of weeks ago, he was just no one. So, until you tell me otherwise. Okay, what will you win? He's not a no one. He's special. And you know, I'd really like to get a feel of the kind of person you think he is. Because sometimes I believe you have a sixth sense. Well, let's put it like this. I think he deserves a second chance to put it right. But that is after he has sorted out his marriage. There is no point getting between a man and his wife, even if he doesn't seem to be much of that now. Oh, best, best <laughs> <laughs> Don't. You're very warm. Are you all right? Uh, Don't you think you should go and see the doctor? Well, I thought about it, but I'll just probably go from work tomorrow. But I'm sure it's nothing. I'm fine. What? Why are you staring at me like that? Obi? Huh? When was your last period? Aha! <laughs> What's that supposed to be? Answer the question. It's important. What? I can't remember. Maybe weeks back or Will something. you be straight with me? I think you're pregnant. Oh, no. No, you don't. Don't even go there. I can't. No. No. Uh-uh. No. All right, just calm down and think about it. Remember, you said you weren't feeling well. How do you feel? <laughs> no, Mom, it's not possible. I can't be pregnant. Not me, no. No. All right. If you feel I'm embarrassing you, just do me a favor and go and see your uncle, Doozy. Please. All right? <laughs> The result is out. Uh, it's uh, it's positive. Is that good news or bad news? Positive. Yes, positive. You are a couple of weeks pregnant. One. Day. Future one. Is there anything you want to tell me? Uh, in time, Uncle. Not right now. In fact, I have to go. You know, it's getting dark and I don't want Mommy to get worried. But Zanti know you were uh, coming here? She knows why you came? It's not as bad as you're making it out to be. Uncle. Uncle, let me just go. My love to Auntie Angie. Okay. And thank you again. Come on. Come Thank you. Where am I, eh? Yes, I'm good. So, how was your weekend? Well, I was very lazy, I'm so sorry. So you didn't go anywhere? I did well, too. So. Ah. Our celebrity client. <laughs> And his specialist doctor isn't. Well, maybe this might be my chance to, you know, levy for the post of interim instructor. Who knows what I might get out of it. Don't wish to tell me. We will look at your face. Trust me, I've tried it. Oh. Hey. Hello, Hi. Mrs. Desi. Are you here?
here to work out? Um, not really. But I wonder if any of you have seen Obi. <laughs> well, Obi hasn't been here for two days. Two days? But I don't mind being instructed for today, you know. You know, I'm very flexible. Like, we should go do something to, you know, work your waist and ties, you know. Finish up where Obi stopped. <laughs> Uh, really? Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll pass. <laughs> okay. But, um, thanks anyway. Uh, very well, then. Uh, have a beautiful day, sir. Would any of you be kind enough to tell her I asked after if you do see her? Yeah, yes. Okay. Have a good one. Yeah, yeah you too. <laughs> oh, I know tell you. Tall like this. Roll like that. Bend like Stop this. it. It's so funny. <laughs> Miss Maddie will be here. It is not an option. It's not what you're thinking. I will have the baby. <sighs> Call Zeno and tell him. No, mommy, I can't. He can't know. Why? Well, because telling him will only complicate issues and it might just totally destroy his marriage. I don't want to be responsible for that. You are having his baby. He has a right to know. What if he thinks I'm doing this to trap him, knowing fully well that this is the one thing that he wants? You are not giving him a lot of credit if you think he's going to reason that way. I mean, I talked to Zeno when he came here the other night. I think the man genuinely loves you. Are you sure? He may not be the first choice first glance, but all his experiences and his affection for you are in his favor. Obi, call him. He has a right to know. Oh, 
did this happen? How? Sir, there was no way we could stop it. Your signature was on all the forms. Oh. If my signature is on all the forms, you just see my signature and you act. Is that it? What am I paying you for? I said, what am I paying you for? Hope you know you will lose your job after this. You better start praying. I'm sorry, sir, but Mr. Williams is a partner too. And he has the financial authority to move such large amount of money. And he had your signature too. How could he do this? How? 50 million for a job that we've not even executed? How? We can trace the money, right? We can find out the bank or the account that the money was transferred into. Okay, you go to the bank and see how we can trace this. Find my money for me. You hear me? Find it! Alright, see what you can dig up. Yes, sir. I will do right, sir. Madam, don't fast forward though. Fast forward? How? This morning, as I don't do everything finish, now Madam said me cannot go. So, uh, he can't say me can come up. So, as I reach up, my cousin say he don't even pack everything when they inside this house. He don't pack all the things for inside house. So, I he can't tell me, say me can help and carry everything, go outside. As I reach outside, Dafe, I can't see Dafe. When carry my down, all of them. Come work out. And he can't tell me, say, all of them they travel. Oga, that's when I carry my down, come on. Oga, as I they tell you so, single pan self, madam not live for inside the house again. Oga. Day and you walked away You don't have to take it this way Cause I'm here to stay I'm with you, I'm here to Show you how to Keep this dream alive Can you keep your dreams alive? comes in the morning and all your tears will fade away Obi, please sit down and eat your food You're eating for two, you know I have a confession to make What? I lied to you I haven't reconciled with Sino So he doesn't know about the baby. It's all right. All is not lost. The situation can be remedied. I'm not even sure about that, mommy. I've not been taking his calls. I've not replied his texts. I just cut him off. Well, maybe he doesn't think he owes you that anymore since you did the same to him. Oh, it's all right. Just call him and apologize. I can't reach him. He's not taking my calls. He's not replying my texts. Nothing. 
since you did exactly the same thing to him, but keep trying. What if he doesn't want me anymore? Copy. Come. How can he not want you? Huh? Look, it's late. So, go and rest and call him tomorrow. Or better still, go and see him. Hmm? Thank you, Mommy. Thank you. Sure, you're going to be fine. It's just that to put a bit of strain on your system. Your weight and everything's okay, but it's a cholesterol level that gives us a, a little bit of cause for worry. Um, Zeno, I'm afraid we have to take you in for surgery. Not bad. Huh? By the way, who is Obi? How did you know her name? Well, that was the only name you were mumbling when you were brought in. She's the girl that I told you about. The one I fell in love with. Yeah. And is it true what Monday told me that Rio left? Yeah. Okay. That was the last thing I remembered. Yeah. Rio left. She left with Daffy. They took my money and they ran off. What a shame. So this Obi girl, tell me about her. Obi, I'm not asking you to go look for her. No, I won't. Her full name is Obi Chukuma. Obi Chukuma. Do you know her? No, no, no. But go on, I'm, I'm listening. I, I actually met her at the gym that I signed on with. Hello, Wendy. Uncle Dozier? Hope I didn't wake you up. No, not at all. But, Uncle, I hope there's no problem. This one that you're calling me at this time. No, no, no. Nothing is wrong. I... I just need a favor from you. Right now? <laughs> I know it's late. It's midnight. Okay. Um, what I want from you has to be discussed with you in person. Can you see me first thing in the morning? Uncle, is there something wrong with my test? No, 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 no. Nothing is wrong with your test. Your test is just fine. I, let's just talk in the morning. Okay, then. Uh, my love to you, Auntie. And please, don't mention this to her. I don't want her to be worried. Okay, Uncle. Yeah. Good night, dear. Good night, Uncle. <laughs> Sir, all is ready. I see. Okay. Um, there's a prescription here. Please clip it to his chart. Are all the doctors here? We are only waiting for the anesthetician, sir. All right. I'll have somebody call her in. Uh, let's make it for 9 a.m. Okay, sir.
you are waiting now, and you are wasting my time. I'm in a hurry. Ah. Alright then, I'll, I'll join you soon. Do I bring you to your second? No, 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 no. I'll, I'll change your mind. Alright, sir. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, sorry. I'm calling your phone. I'm sorry. I've had the most horrible, horrible, horrible day. Never mind, never mind, never mind. Listen, Bobby, I'm going to ask you a few questions and I want you to answer me honestly and be open with me. Okay. Do you know? Mazino Uzezi. Obi, I need to be in the theater in a few minutes. Yes, I do. Good. Are you involved with him? We were. Where? Oh, cool. But why are you asking me all these questions? Has mommy been talking to you? No, she hasn't. But I need you to answer me honestly. Trust me on this. We were. We... We had issues and, and somehow it just... It fell apart. What kind of issues? Oh. Please, Opie, talk Uncle. to me. Uncle, we, we fell in love with each other and... Then I discovered I was pregnant. Mazino is responsible for your pregnancy? But he doesn't know. Why didn't you tell him? Uncle, he's married. And I just didn't want to complicate his life any further. So I withdrew from him. Oh, I see. Uh, do you know where he is? Do you? No. Do you still love him? Of course. Very much. My dear Toby, Mazino is in this hospital. Mazino has been my friend for as long as I can remember. Now, I don't need to stress the importance of our patients going into surgery, feeling that he has something to live for. It helps him fight. Do you know that his wife left him? What? In the middle of all this? Oh. oh, yes, she did. And that's why you need to tell him about the baby. That's why you need to let him know that you love him still. He's in room 12. Now, one more thing, Obi. He doesn't know I know you. As a matter of fact, he asked me not to go find you. Because he doesn't want your pity. Now, when you go in there, show him that you're offering him love, not pity. Now go. a day and you walked away you don't have to take it this way cause I'm here to stay I'm with you I'm here to Hazy no you're not dreaming I'm here how did you find me what are you doing here It's a long story, but how are you? I hear you're going in for surgery in a couple of minutes. What, what happened to you? Why did you just cut me off? Did, did I do something wrong? Did you hear something I did? No, Z. It wasn't you. 
it was me. I allowed something to happen. What? I'm pregnant, you know. What? I didn't plan it either, you know. That's why I stayed away. Bobby, what, what are you doing here? What did you come here to do? I came to see you. For what? After all we've been through, this is how you paid me back. Get it pregnant? Okay, see, please, the, the doctor says you're not supposed to be agitated, okay? Please calm down. What is it to you without my life or dead? Look, I, I'm better off without you, okay? Just go. I thought you would understand. Understand what? Just go, okay? I was better off to just, just go before I called the nurses. Just go. Z, it's either I was not clear enough or you have little faith in me. The baby I am carrying is yours. But I'll go if you want me to. baby and the doctors were right there's nothing wrong with you oh my god are you sure is it been confirmed how far god are you it's confirmed and i'm a few weeks pregnant oh my god it's the perfect gift oh it's the perfect gift Please. Does your mom know? Yes, she does. Ah, she's a truly amazing woman. My mother-in-law. What are you saying? Marry me, Obi. Marry me. Marry me and make me the happiest man in the world. My wife, she left me. She left me with my best man and my partner. There's no one standing between us now. Marry me. If you don't say yes, I'm not going in for that surgery. I swear to you. I didn't know you had a guest. I'm sorry, but we have to prepare you for surgery. Okay, just, just excuse us for a while. Okay. What's it gonna be? Love of my life. Keep out of the gates of my happiness. What's it gonna be? Yes, I know. You have to ask me nicely, not like this. How? Oh. You must go on one knee with a ring. <laughs> oh, trust you to come up with something like that, huh? But that's why I love you. Well, that's settled. See? You know you have to go in there and come out quickly. Let's not keep her waiting. <laughs> Who said anything about a girl? A boy, you mean? <laughs> Look at you. You have mouth now, she. <laughs> I love you, Zeno. I love you too. Please. You know you have to go in there. And come up because we're waiting for you, don't you? You know? You and I and all the children that we we'll have we have a long life ahead of us. I don't plan on missing out on any. I 
love you. I love you.